For today, I will give you the easiest way for you to remember the concept of your insulin administration. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I upload my nursing videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss that. I subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more consents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses, for today's video, we are going to discuss the most favorite drug of all time. Insulin. I'm gonna provide you a nursing drug study of your insulin. What are the things that you need to remember when you talk about insulin? The types of your insulin and I'm gonna make it easier for you. In order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng iyong insulin. Yes, this is another topic in our nursing pharmacology. Today we're gonna discuss about insulin, it's mnemonics. I will teach you the peak, onset, and duration, and types of your insulin, alright? If you haven't checked out the other uh, nursing pharmacology lectures that I did for you, I'll be putting it on the description box to check that out, baby, okay? So, let me share to you our objectives for our today's discussion. We're gonna discuss the types of insulin. I'm gonna teach you how you going to easily remember the onset, the peak, and duration times of you know insulin uh, medication and also insulin administration so handa ka na ito na tayo all right so let's discuss the types of your insulin we have several types of um, insulin the first one is what we call the rapid acting insulin now when we talk about rapid acting insulin ito yung mga novolog humalog apidra this begins to work almost as soon as you inject it and quickly leaves the body two to four hours later okay a wrap head okay you will typically inject a rapid acting insulin right before a meal to keep your blood sugar from spiking too high after the meal rapid acting insulin is often used along with longer acting insulin what else regular insulin or short acting insulin regular insulin ito yung ating novelin r also known as a short acting insulin it is also used to cover your insulin needs at meal time but it can be injected a little bit longer before the meal than rapid acting insulin it also works in the body slightly longer than rapid acting insulin next you have your intermediate acting insulin ano to you guys intermediate acting insulin or yung novelin n is used less often than other types of insulin but it is possible that your doctor may recommend it for you this type of insulin works for about half the day which can make it useful for overnight insulin coverage now we're talking about long-acting insulin. When you talk about your long-acting insulin, ano-ano to? Ano-ano mga insulin to? You have your Levimir, Lantis, and Basaglor. Don't worry because I will give you like a tip on how are you going to remember these uh, medications. Mamaya, i-cover natin yan sa mga next slides. This covers all day insulin needs kasi nga long-acting insulin. The idea is that you only have to inject it once and it will help keep your blood sugar controlled over a 24-hour period. You may inject it first thing in the morning or before bed to control your blood sugar levels all day. You may or may not use a rapid-acting or regular insulin along with it. Next, you have your ultra-long-acting insulin. The main difference between long-acting insulin and ultra-long-acting insulin, ano yon, yung Tresiba and Taujeo, is that ultra-long-acting insulin has no Peak. This means that there is no point in time where there is a maximum effect of insulin in your body, which reduces your risk of having low blood sugar, yung ating hypoglycemia. Lastly, we have inhaled insulin. Yes, meron nga po tayong inhaled preparation ng ating insulin. Now, ano to? A frieza. Now, this is a rapid acting and starts working within 12 to 15 minutes of being inhaled. It leaves your body within 3 hours and peaks with 
within 30 minutes of being inhaled. This type of insulin can be used in place of long-acting insulin but should be combined with it. Alright, malinaw na sa'yo yan. Proceed na tayo. Alright, okay. So, para mas lalo mo siyang matandaan, ibibigay ko sa'yo yung tip, okay? Alam ko na confusing itong insulin na to. Ah, paano ba ba mga mabilis na matatandaan yung konsepto ng long acting, rapid acting, intermediate, regular? Mm, kalma ka because I have a solution for you. We don't have to go anywhere else, okay? Kasi nandun na rin mismo yung ating palatandaan. I want you guys to remember insulin, okay? We have t- different types of insulin, right? We have your rapid. Mm-hmm. Pag naisip mo yung rapid, ano-ano yung mga rapid acting insulin mo. You have your Humalog and then your Apidra and you also have your Novolog. Alright? Remember once again this is your Rapid. You have your Humalog, Apidra and Novolog. Mm, ano pa isang klase ng insulin natin? Short acting. Mm-hmm. Dapat mo lang matandaan na kapag ina, um, dinidiscuss natin ng short acting o hiningi ang ka o sinabing short acting ano yung gamot na yon? Reg, reg. Mm-hmm. All regular insulins are short-acting insulins. Gets, gets. Next, you have your U for humulin and pH. This is your intermediate insulin. Diba? Mas madali. Na ito naman, ano naman yung long-acting insulin? Madali lang. Ito siya, oh. You have your Levimir and you have your Lantus. Hmm. Once again, ito, I suggest that you make a screenshot of this. This will be very helpful in your studies if you're trying to really remember your rapid, short-acting, your intermediate insulin, and your long-acting insulin, okay? All right, let's proceed. Now, we're going to talk about insulin onset, peak, and duration times. Mm-hmm. Ito na to, masaya to. Huwag ka mag-alala kasi gagawin kong madali to para sa'yo. Handa ka na, ito na siya. All right. So, first we're going to discuss about rapid acting insulin. Now, ano ang onset niya? 15 minutes. Kailan siya magpi-peak? 1 hour post administration. All right? So, pag sinabing peak doon yung pinaka high chances of patient developing hypoglycemia. All right? Now, duration. Hanggang kailan siya magsistay sa katawan ng pasyente mo? 3 hours. Para mas lalo mong matandaan itong mga concept na to, itong mga um, oras na to, ito yung tip ko sa'yo. You need to remember this phrase or this sentence. 15 minutes feels like an hour. 15 minutes, which is your onset, an hour which is your peak during three rapid responses. Three rapid responses, that three, 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 rapid, that is your, your rapid acting insulin, three, three, three hours. Rapid acting insulin stays in your body, in the patient's body for three hours. Mm-hmm. Dali lang, diba? Again, 15, one, three. Tandaan mo lang sentence na to. 15 minutes feels like an hour during three rapid responses. All right, let's proceed. Short acting. Uh-huh. Ito na siya. Onset niya. Kailan mo unang mafe-feel yung effect niya? 30 minutes post-administration. Kailan siya magpipik o yung tendency of the patient developing hypoglycemia 2 hours post-administration. Gano'n siya katagal magsistay sa katawan ng pasyente? 8 hours, you guys. Para mas lalo mo siyang matandaan, here's a tip for you, okay? Short-staffed nurses, meaning short, short-acting. Staff nurses went from 30, 30, which is 30 minutes onset, patient to 2 Two meaning two hours, which is your peak where you can expect hypoglycemia for the patient and eight patient. Once again, that short staff nurses went from 30 patients to eight patients. Eight patients, your eight hours duration. All right. O di ba mas madale? Okay, let's proceed. Now, this is your intermediate acting insulin. Onset, two hours post administration. Eight hours upon administration, you will expect the peak. Peak niya, eight hours. Duration, 16 hours. Meaning, 16 hours siya magsistay sa katawan ng pasyente mo para mas lalo mo siyang matandaan. Ito ang tip ko sa yo. Nurses, N, 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 N. Play hero. NPH. Nurses play hero. NPH. Two. Two. Number two. Two hours onset. Eight. 
meaning 8 hours peak 16 year olds 16 meaning your duration kung gaano siya katagal magstay sa katawan ng pasyente mo once again that's nurses play hero to 8 16 year olds all right na padaliin natin yung buhay natin alam mo naman natin na maraming uh, tag dito mga memorization na involves sa nursing so i hope this one will help next you have your syempre pinakahuli long acting insulin paano mo siya mas mabilis na tandaan Okay, bigay ko sa'yo yung figures. Onset, upon administration of your long-acting insulin, such as your lantus, the effect is 2 hours. Peak, kailan siya magpipeak nun? Duration niya, 24 hours. Kaya nga long-acting, di ba? Meaning, pang whole day. Here's the tip on how are you going to easily memorize this. The two long nursing shifts never peaked but lasted 24 hours. Once again, the two, 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 two hours onset, long, long-acting insulin. Nursing shifts never peaked. Kasi nga, wala siyang peak. But lasted 24 hours because your long-acting insulin stays in the patient's body for 24 hours. Alright? Okay, so next na tayo. In the following slides, we're going to discuss the site of injection and how are you going to mix your insulin. Alright, let's begin. So for the injection site, you guys, so you can administer your insulin in different sides of the body. So the first one is it through the abdomen, which is the fastest area of absorption. The other one is um, the arm, which is a little bit slower. Your legs even, uh, which is even more slower. And sa buttocks, which is the slowest absorption area. Now I have here some few reminders for you guys. Now it is very important to change the injection sites every week or two to get the most out of the insulin also if you choose the same site each time you inject hard lumps can develop under the skin this is known as what lipohyperthropy all right so make sure that you kind of do like a rotation of the injection site of your insulin next we're going to discuss about mixing insulin yes malapit na tayo matapos here's a short illustration and how are you going to easily remember this concept. Now, draw up the clear, fast acting. Clear, kaya sunny, sunny sky, clear. Draw up the clear, which is your fast acting, before the cloudy, which is your long acting. Why are we doing this? To prevent contaminating a short acting insulin with a long acting insulin. Yes! Oh, diba mag mabilis lang? Draw up the clear, which is your fast acting, before the cloudy, which is your long acting. This is to prevent contaminating a short-acting insulin. Ang mga gandang example ng mga short-acting natin, naalala mo yung Yumalog, Novolog, at yung Apidra with a long-acting insulin. So, una mong ibibidro ang fast-acting, which is the clear one, yung color niya, kaysa doon sa ating long-acting, such as your Lantus and your, ano ba ba isa? Levimir. Yes. So, yun lang. Once again, you guys, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. I really do appreciate Appreciate all your love and support, you guys. We've been really growing. Abangan nyo po yung mga next nating videos regarding sa nursing pharmacology and other nursing topics. I'll see you again next time. You stay safe. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. You're already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out other playlists and nursing pharmacology topics that I created. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again, baby.